Right, Jim, I notice you've got uh, quite a variety of different lures here. Um, and I notice one there is, I recognise that as a sidewinder. Yes. Um, I sell tons of those in the shop. Absolutely, it seems to be the, the lure of the moment or of the last couple of years, definitely. Rhubarb so, and custard, rhubarb that colour. I recognise that colour. Yeah. Would you want to talk us through? Yeah, well, one of the things I do, I don't use a long trace for these. I tend to hop mine along the bottom and I use a very simple rig. I mean, it's the sort of thing the Bass Boys do. They don't like losing gear. No. So they cut it down to the absolute minimum. Yep. And this rig is, it's a three-way swivel, uh, lead hooks on the bottom, and the sidewinder goes on the side there. And yep. that's, that's the complete thing. And I have about a two-foot trace to the sidewinder. Just two foot. And what I do, I work it off the bottom just by lifting and down mm -hmm. and lifting and down and I think it's when that goes down to the bottom because this is weighted in the head. That's right they have they've got their own little weight. Right when you let it go it, it comes down like a distressed fish yeah. and that's generally when you get the fish the cod take. As you lift again you feel the weight the cod already there but if you have too long a trace doing this it doesn't work effectively. No. Um, you can't work. You can't get it off much. the bottom yeah. enough for it to do the coming down. Nice. I mean, some people put a long trace on and then wind 10 or 20 turns up off the bottom. Mm. But cod are nearly always hard on the bottom. Yes. That's why it was a waste of time. And to the wreck as well, yeah. aren't they? You may well catch a pollock when you're 20 turns up, yeah. but very rarely a cod. Those cod are mostly within the first three, four foot of the bottom. Right, so. And that's a very effective... It rarely tangles. Mm. It can swivel round. And it's um, simple as well. And it's very simple. Simply, yeah. the, the other thing is... I use a braid on the main, the main line can come straight onto there. Right. Um, and uh, I use about a 30 pound braid and a 25 pound trace. Right, and you, so you tie a braid directly to the screen? You can do, yeah. Can. yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, you can put a leader on. Yes. If you've got a very nasty wreck, yeah. then it's sometimes worth having a bit of mono because yes. it's it better for rubbing against the wreck. But if this is less, slightly less um, uh, line strength than the main line, yeah. If you hook the bottom, that snaps off and you can just retie another one on. And you always use, uh, would that be clear and easy? This is, no, no, it's fluorocarbon. A fluorocarbon, right, yeah. that's 25 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And uh, as I say, as long as it's just slightly less than your main line, then yeah. you've got a chance that this will break off and you won't lose everything. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, although I use these uh, sidewinders for the cod, I must admit for pollock, I tend to prefer the older fashioned um, red gills. Um, right. You know, like a sand eel. Yep. Um, now these aren't weighted, are they? No, they're not weighted. They're not and you weighted do weight. you use these on a much longer trace, um, nice. and you work them up as far as thirty-five and forty turns off the bottom. Right. Because the pollock can sit quite well up above the wreck. Yeah. Um, but they are terrifically effective. So the, what sort of length trace would you would you normally? I'd you probably use um, uh, three or four meters. Really? So that's yeah. Quite, quite oh a yeah. Yeah. I mean, huge um, difference. Yeah. Um, you, you do need it longer. For some reason, that mm. seems to work more effectively for the pollock. But the crucial thing is to make to wind it up far enough. When I said with the cod, I don't tend to get off the bottom. With the pollock, I've actually found the 35, 40 turns up. They obviously and feed in a much higher room yeah. from, yeah. from the wreck or the wreckage that they're, they're feeding on. They obviously and of course, them. anyone who's done pollocking knows you must have your clutch set so that when the first bite pulls, you don't do anything, you carry on winding and um, the pollock will take it and start turning down and your line will start going back down. I think it's the hard, yeah. one of the hardest things. It is to first, stop going whoosh. When, when you first go out <laughs> and go pollock fishing is, is not to strike and not to lift it, but just to yeah. let the fish have its head, if you like, and, yeah. and, 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 and take line. Very important. Um, but it's one of the hardest things, I think, initially yeah. until you get into it. Yeah, and funny enough, uh, some of the best lures for pollock are the dark red and the black. Um, I think it creates a silhouette because they follow. They come from below, yep. and I think the darker the, the colour color. creates a silhouette for them to chase. Well, I um, remember yeah. um, if it wasn't that many years ago that it was everything had to be black. And yeah, black was that's a right. really popular colour. Yeah. Um, now some of the darker. There's so many different more colours now, yeah. but certainly black was one of the key colours that we used to use. And th this is an interesting little um, yeah, uh, holo holo color, is it? Um, holographic. Holographic. That's, that's it. Word, yeah. yeah. These are very good for bass. I mean, they are very much like a sand eel. Yeah. I mean, um, you, you could see them going. Although there's no shape to the tail, 
to make it like these ones have got a, a flat base that makes it waggle. Yes. These still work in the water. Yes. Um, surprisingly enough. They've got a very, I've used these myself actually yeah. um, in shallow water for bass and they've got a very, very good swimming action. Yeah. And I think with this soft tail, it's um, similar to a jelly worm. And so it still gives it. It does. It does seem to work well. Yeah. yeah. Um, in shallow waters, very well. effective. Not not so good in in strong tide runs. No. Because it tends to pull the, the tail out straight. But certainly, yeah. uh, shallow water. I mean, for bass, these are brilliant.